I'm just going to show you how you can quickly create an interesting pattern design to fill an entire document, say a random fill, using a custom shape. Now custom shapes, I'm just going to go over here to the custom shape tool. Now the location may vary depending on your customization of your toolbar. But there's my custom shape tool, I'm going to use the shape option and I'm going to set it to fill, use red and I'm going to use ornament design shapes. Now you can find those on the Graphic Extras website but of course you can use any custom shape. So just going to select so that one there. So vector design can be any size so I'm just going to quickly draw that out. Now key thing about here is I'm just going to remove the background so I'm just going to go there delete. So once it's been deleted now I'm going to resize that slightly because I always find that with the patterns and the the fill feature that the bigger the actual design is sometimes the actual preview doesn't particularly match so I'm just going to reduce it down a little bit. So once you've done that now what you can also do you can add things like obviously layer styles could have added another color gradient etc I'm just going to go for a very basic drop shadow and right now once I've done that what I can do then is just go over here to the rectangle and marquee tool and I'll just select that area. So selected Edit and Define Pattern, click OK. Now, I'm going to go back because I've obviously now I've got the pattern, I've stored it, I could of course make some colour variants or maybe apply other effects and then add additional patterns, but I'm just going to go now with that pattern. Then just go to Edit and Fill and select Pattern Option, set Script, set the pattern. Now I've got one obviously I created earlier, it's another design there. Just select that design that I just obviously just created. So that's selected. Script on random fill and the other setting normal, etc. Click OK. Now it comes up with a quick panel where you can set. Now the density you can put obviously to extreme. You can have it and obviously comply more than once, so you don't have to actually have it full on all these settings. And you can click got rotate pattern, colorize and Randomize. I'm going to go for brightness randomization so you can see some changes there. You've got slightly darker reds there, and so obviously color randomize. It's not going to not too much variation there, and you can modify the actual scale factor. Right. Once you've done that, decided on that, then you just apply. See, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't exactly match the preview. The preview may look like it filled the whole thing, but of course, what you can do: edit and fill, and obviously keep the same settings. And again, you can change the settings here if you wish, but you can just fill it again. Obviously, you can see now it's just filled a bit more. Edit. And of course, what you can do, of course, you can go to image, modify, and saturation, maybe change the color. You can change the color there, and then just go back to fill. But there's no just reapply fill, reapply fill would be nice. And then you've got the design, you can still see there for the purple there, pink purplish color. Okay, so once you've actually done that, apply it. you can go, of course, go and use any other sort of script, etc. run maybe like Symmetry, there's also Brick Fill and many more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.